Good evening viewers and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon X Wonderlock. I say good evening but it could be good morning or good afternoon or good day or good night or any of those sort of things depending on what time of day you're watching this at. I uh, am open to any suggestions. Anyway, since the last episode I have done nothing at all. Um, I've been a bit busy so I haven't been able to sort of do anything so we still have a level 34 and level 37 Crobat. Not quite the right level but good news is we can head down to the winding woods or whatever they're called um, and evolve our EV in a second um, ignoring everything in Snowball City for the moment because we know we don't have to do anything here uh, okay there is an item there so I might go and just grab that hey, what is it? it's a full restore so how are you guys doing today? I'm not too bad myself, how are you? Uh, I always do that, don't I? I always ask twice, I don't know why I do that there's nothing too exciting to do in this village so we shall continue. No GTS, I do not want to trade with you. Silly GTS. Okay so now we're in the winding woods. We can catch Pokemon in here so let's do that shall we go. There's the moss rock, we can evolve our Eevee any second. Not right now but any second. Now. <laughs> it's a Noctowl, lovely. There's even no Noctowl can be found in these woods so you learn something new every day. And it's a lot higher level than Crobat so um, not a lot higher but a fairly high level, a fairly high level, I guess. Anyway, let's go to Aromatisse, who should be able to, you know, do some decent damage to it, but not kill it, because that would be bad. We'll go for a Psychic, and hopefully it won't kill Aromatisse, because... No, not Aromatisse, and the, the Noctowl. Because obviously you want to catch the Noctowl, so... Go Psychic, okay, Zen Headbutt, fine. Actually, oh, come on. I'm not too surprised Noctowl is faster than Aromatisse, because indeed... Noctowl has wings to fly around, and Aromatisse is really quite slow, so... There we are, Psychic time! Okay, it didn't do much at all, so I'm going to go for a Moonblast. May as well risk it for a, uh, for a Chocolate Biscuit. Synchronize. How, how do they not affect us? Are we, like, no, we're not soundproof, aren't we? That's confusing. Hmm. Anyway, oops, not a time ball. Ultra Ball. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. But yes... Uh, we would like to catch the Noctowl so we can wonder trade it away. That would be helpful. What happened today? What did I do today? I didn't do much today, actually. Um, driving lesson. Uh, did some independent driving. Oh, yeah. That means my instructor basically said, Can you follow the signs to wherever, please? And I had to follow the signs to wherever. Crobat mean look. No, thank you. They're not useful. Uh, Crobat mean look is not very useful at all. So, we should call it Wonder Owl, obviously, because that makes sense. Its eyes are specially adapted. Yeah. Okay, Wonder Owl it is. Let's do this. Wonder Owl. Oops, that's a one. So yeah, Wonder One. <laughs> um, but yeah, what did I do? I had... I don't quite know. Yes, I had a drone lesson, then I had maths, which wasn't too bad to be honest. And then I had double physics. Uh, one of those was... It wasn't too bad, and the other one was we supposed to be doing a Christmas quiz, or at least our teacher told us we were doing a Christmas quiz, but we got to the IT room where it had been booked, um, and it turns out it wasn't a Christmas quiz, we were just going to be um, sort of making a PowerPoint about Santa and physics. There's, you know, if you search um, physics, of, physics of Santa into Google, you'll find loads of web pages with the same information on. Just sort of like taking. Santa and then putting it into a sort of a technological perspective like stats and maths and stuff like that. Um, it was really boring so I just played a game all lesson and Miss didn't really care so. Nice to meet you Tanner in Missouri, United States. Let's see what you've got for us today. Drum roll please. It's technically a drum roll in the background here isn't it? It's like kind of a boom boom boom. It's a pineco! I don't think I've ever owned a Pineco on X and Y before, and I, if I've owned it on previous games, I haven't used it at all, so it could be helpful if it evolves into a fortress, who knows? A nice fairy counter? I don't know. It's a possibility, but then again, we have our Crobat now, so screw it, screw Pineco. Okay, and then we can. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use a rare candy just to level up uh, our EV. I feel that would be a better use of our time by name. Rare candy, we have four of them. Level up, EV, level up. Level 35. And it's going to evolve, hopefully, into a Leafeon, I'm not sure. Because um, it could evolve into Espeon. Because it's, you know, what, or an Umbreon, one of those. I don't know what time of the day switches over. But hopefully, it evolves into Leafeon. Hopefully, the Moss Rock slash Ice Rock overpowers the timing 
which overpowers the um, kind of affection rating. Too many things to be dealing with here, and it's a Leafeon, yay! I don't think I've ever owned a Leafeon before, which seems really worth me to say, but in previous games I never really caught them all, sort of thing. I could have owned, I might have owned a Leafeon, I'm not sure. I never used it particularly before, so it should be fun to see how it, it fares in battle. So we shall quickly throw the Leafeon into first position. We could use the other rare candies on it, but I might just leave it for the moment so it's a higher level sort of thing. Caught the Pokemon in the, the Winding Woods already, or Route 20 it's called. Oh, Cassib Berry. Okay, never heard of it before, but it could be interesting. And now we shall just quickly... Damn! Problem is now having Leafy on that front, we have to switch out to our Pokemon before we run away because we're a low level. Then again, it isn't a Moongus, so we might be able to run away anyway. Yeah, good one, Leafy on. You're awesome. I love you. It's a Paralyze Heal. Could be helpful, then again, we have four heals anyway, so. But yes, I had some lessons, and then I went shopping. Um, when I finally got my friend's Christmas presents, or when I say it's like my generic Christmas presents, or you know, I usually get, you know, we, you get everyone the same thing, and then uh, you sort of buy individual ones for some people. That's what I've been doing. So I got everyone a Maltesers cracker sort of thing, it's like a cracker, big cardboard cracker with like seven, uh, seven bags of Maltesers in, so I think that's a pretty good present, don't you? <laughs> okay, twins, what have we got? We have a Slowpuff and Aromatisse. Okay, so two fairy types. Who do we use to counter you? Obviously our Aromatisse is coming out now, who is actually low health-ish. So probably best for both of these two to switch out! Hmm. Gengar can obviously resist stuff like that, and Blaze can, I guess. I can't send Greninja out because it will be weak to uh, fairy type moves until it up until after it's used a move itself. So, but Gengar resists, and Blaze can doesn't resist, but it takes neutral. So that will do. Ah, lovely. Play rough. Good thing it's on Gengar, so he's not going to take much damage. And Psychic. Oh sh. Okay. Okay, still, no, no, not Gengar! Not Gengar! What do I do now? We need to take out that Aromatisse. Um, oh, what do I do? Yes, Dazzling Gleam is going to affect those two. So I think we'll be alright there. I don't know. <sighs> no, we need to get back. I think Gengar needs to heal up, so he needs to use a Forest Restore. Because otherwise it will die. And then Blaziken needs to... Mega Evolve because it's probably best here, and we use Blaze Kick on Aromatisse to hopefully take it out. Hopefully, Blaze can be faster than the Aromatisse, otherwise, we could be in trouble because Psychic is going to deal massive damage to both Pokemon, isn't it? So, yeah, Mega Blaze Gun. What have we got here? Blaze Kick on Aromatisse. Please die. Damn, it didn't die. Slurp off use Wish. We don't care about that too much, yeah, I don't think, at least. I ready to use Psychic again on Blaziken this time, okay. Well, at least they use it on the Mega one because obviously Blaziken is then going to resist. Uh, not, yeah, just because of high defenses and such. So I think here we're going to use a Dazzling Gleam now just to take them both out. I think I should be able to take a Romatisse out, I'm not quite sure though. Um, but I think Blaziken is going to be the faster Pokemon here, so I'm going to use Blaziken again on Slurpuff. Yes, indeed, it avoided the attack. Let's see if Dazzling Gleam will take out the Aromatis for us. Indeed it did, good, good. And the Slurpuff will be gone as well at the moment, but we missed the attack, so... Kind of sucks. Oh well. A lot of experience for everyone there. And there comes the Wish. Go oh, damn. Speed boost once again. So yes. I think now we're going to use a Shadow Ball, and I think I'm just going to go for a... Okay, may as well go for a Blaze Kick again, because fighting type moves aren't going to deal a huge amount of damage, so... But good thing we have the Shadow Ball coming, because that means you will be taken out. Hopefully. <laughs> Indeed it did. Okay, first battle done. <laughs> Only took us 10 minutes to get this far. But yes. What can I talk about today? Um, Christmas is soon. Obviously, I just talked about buying my presents. Um, and yeah... I still need, I can't buy individual presents for people there at the moment because I don't have my money. I haven't had money since, I don't know, I usually get money at the end of every month comes in, so that usually keeps me going. But the end of November, I didn't get my money, and I'm still waiting for it now. It's really annoying, it's been two weeks now, and I really need the money to buy presents for people. So they probably won't get their presents till after Christmas, which kind of sucks, but that's the way they could crumbles, I guess. That's indeed the way they could crumbles. 
and you can't understand me because I'm saying cooking rooms. I, I, I'm saying it too fast for you guys to even understand what I'm saying. Hello, lady. Time to show off our Pokemon, you say. Indeed. Indeed. Pokefan Roizen. Roizen. I don't know. Roy it's a strange name, to be honest. Roizen. No offense, I know it's called Roizen if you're watching. But it's just my opinion. And I apologize in advance if you hear any loud noises in a second, because that would be uh, my pipes in the house. Hopefully we won't get any but loud noises, but just a fair warning. It won't be louder than me speaking, probably, but, you know, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Gengar. Mega Revolve and take out our Shadow Ball. Because we is awesome. And it's only a Snubble, anyway. Snubble are just like... We don't care about Snubble. We can take him out in one hit, probably. Let's see. There they are. There we are. Such a lovely noise. Thank you, Mother, for deciding to have a bath while I'm recording. Thank you very much. Okay. Grandbot is out again now. I think I'm just going to stay in, you know, save, switching out, whatever. Hello again, Granbull. I mentioned last episode that I think it should be a, a fairy fighting type, and I st that's still the case, you know. It, it does look, look a lot... It's, it's too tough to be a, a fairy type, in my opinion, even though it's, it's called the fairy Pokemon, so... I don't know, just my opinion, guys. Just my opinion. Don't know what you guys think about that, but... Pokefan Roizen. Okay, let's see what we got next. Nothing down here, is there? Nope, dead end. So we continue upwards or back to where we came from, or along the route, one of those. Okay, there's a fairy girl there. A fairy girl is the only way I can describe it, apparently. Nothing there, there's a man there as well. I think I should really just pop on and get some stuff healed up. Full restore on that one, because you're the one that needs leveling up, as well as Blaziken. Mr. Blaziken, okay. So now we can battle the fairy girl. Fairy girl, battle me! Whew. Lovely. So yes, I think I've sorted out my, uh, you know, my 3DS capture card now. My 3DS XL capture card, I should say. Obviously, last episode we had a few troubles at the start of it. Slight lag, but now I think I've cleared that up, so it's all good. Always good that ends good. Made no sense there at all, but yeah. So yeah, hopefully you guys will. Not notice any difference to the old capture card. You shouldn't do it, at least. I can't notice any difference when I'm uh, even recording, so. Heal block. Oh, wasn't planning on healing anyway. Not even go to magic room. What does that do? Oh, okay, so we couldn't. Well, I don't know if magic room even affects mega stones, so. But obviously, we would have mega evolved before they used the move, so we would have mega evolved anyway. And you can't reverse Mega Evolution, so not about dying at least. Sunny day. Ugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach it, but I don't know. I'll get rid of Swift, because I don't think Swift's gonna be too effective of a move because we're hardly ever in any double battles or anything, so yes indeed. Asmoral's coming out. Let's go send Leafy on out and then we'll switch out into Aromatis. Because obviously can't send Blitzkin and that would be a bad move. Hello, Azumarill. Uh, Aromatisse, yes, that's the one. <laughs> Just gotta remember who I'm, uh, who I'm actually training here. Uh, let me think now, let me think. Update on the thing I can give you. Is there an update on the thing I can give you? I can't remember. Haha, attack and defense fell. Unfortunately, we're a special attacker, so that doesn't even affect us too much, so. Again, another superpower. Gonna even do le gonna do even less damage. So okay, only did ten damage that time, whereas previously did seventeen damage. Clever Azumarill. Clever Azumarill. It could just use a water type move or a fairy type move, but it's a silly Billy. Another superpower. No Hydro Pump this time, which is obviously a special move. So no idea why I didn't use that second. But yes, the Azumarill is gone. Happy face, everyone. Happy face. I don't know why it'd be happy face, but yeah, let's just go happy face. Happy face! Good, good. Okay. What's down here, I wonder? Two exits. Hmm. This one takes me here. And we need a cutter, but we don't have a cutter, so screw it. We don't care. And then this one takes us to here. 
and there's an exit through here, and hopefully then the exit here. No, we have another area. Should we put Crobat out? No, not, not that passerby. Crobat, okay, they're the same level, so we can just train Leafy on up a bit more, yes. Gow damn. Silly grass. I know I could use Repel, but screw Repels. Take too long to use, and I'm going to have to switch out to another Pokemon to escape from this battle because it is a knockdown. It's going to be faster than, than the Leafeon, and I wouldn't want to risk it anyway because it's, you know, so freaking knocked out against the Leafeon, so. Indeed. Go to Greninja, my Speed Demon. Air Slash. Oh, took it like a boss. Running away now. Commence running away. Haha. <laughs> Um, uh, but yes, probably tomorrow or the day after will be the day that my next Let's Play update video comes out. I just decided there was an item there, and apparently there was. Yes, yeah, so probably Wednesday, I would guess, would be my estimate, damn it. Took the long way through the grass. But yeah, expect that. Bas if you don't know what I mean by like the next Let's Play video update thing, it's like, I'm going to be asking you what you want to see for my next Let's Play, including what game, uh, what sort of challenge, if you want the challenge, what rules to impose, um, you know, anything like that. Just tell me what you want to see, and I will obviously, you know, pick the most popular or most requested one. Here we are, okay. Hello, Wolfric, and his Pokemon friends. Yes, we know, 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 we know. Apparently, they, they uh, understand him exactly and perfectly. That's right. Okay, we shall do, and we'll just go and talk to Boaf, this one who has a Chopper Berry for us, and this one here has a a pretty wing for us, so that's very nice of them. It'd be better if they were like random items every day, but apparently they're, they're not, so. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Okay, I guess we can stick out with Leafeon as we go into our wild Pokemon battle in here. Go! Yeah, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. But yeah, that video is going to be basically like asking what you guys want to see. I might, I don't know how to do it though. I don't have, if I, you know, whether I need or whether I want to do some sort of uh, vote for like what you guys want to see, whether, you know, a code you can put in the comments and I can use uh, a search function to try and find out guys, what you guys want to see. Stuff like that. I don't really know. See? It's hard because I don't know how many people abide by the code or just sort of like say I want to see this and then have to sort of like count that as well. Do stuff like that. Oh, oh yawning is so boring. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Or I could use an external site to do some sort of vote like that. I get, or I guess we can use a code sort of thing. Solar beam, awesome. Aromatisse took it like a, a bit of a boss. Yes, <laughs> a bit of a boss. Not not a total boss, but. A fairly decent boss. <sighs> Lovely, okay. Special attack fell, which is go oh, great, toxic. Toxic am Spinanda etc. We can survive another toxic and another attack because we are we are a BOWS. A boss. That's yeah, if you've counted spider guys, that says boss. Or well, that spells boss. Boss BOWS doesn't say boss. Synthesis, damn it. This is going to get annoying now, isn't it? In a minute, I should be like, okay, fuck you. I'm going to use Psychic and then probably kill it. Um, we don't have any four stores. I want to do one more, one more four store left, so that's good. Hopefully, the Amoongus doesn't use Toxic again, especially if it uses it straight after this four store, which would be really annoying. Hopefully, not. I mean, sometimes they do do that, which is, yeah, just like, seriously. Stat changes thing, nope. Whoa, okay. What's that? A poison type move? I guess. I'm not sure. Screw it. We'll use Psychic. Screw you, Amoongus. We hate you. Good. It survived it. Solar Beam is going to absorb light. And hopefully we can just catch it while it's absorbing light. Because that would be very helpful indeed. Go. Ultra Ball. Catch the Amoongus. The Amoon... Am Amoongus. No. Uh, no. <laughs> the Enormous... What? What's it? A play on... Oh, come on. Solar Beam. We can take it, I think. Yeah, we took it like a boss. What's it a play on words? Because obviously the the moo bit comes from like mush, mushroom. Um, among us, or enormous, uh, humongous. That's it. 
Humongous. Yes, and we call it the Amongus. Amongus. Sorry. <laughs> Amongus. So, we shall call it Wonder... I don't know. What is it? It's a... What kind of Pokemon is it? Tell me now. Mushroom Pokemon. Okay. So, we shall call it Wonder Mush. Wow, that's a terrible name, but oh well. We shall call it you nonetheless. Wonder Musha. Oops. Musha. Wonder Musha. I don't know. I don't quite know. Just playing it as I go, guys. And it's back in the live, that one. So let's go to Wonder Trade. And we're going to trade away the. Um, what was it again? Amoongus. <laughs> Completely forgot what it was I was trading, guys. So that's the one we got just now, the Pine Coat, level 1, Tackle, Protect, Stealth Rock, not too bad to be honest, I don't know if that's meant to be competitively bred or not, but we'll have to see, and there we are, it has a tiny mushroom, but I'm not allowed to take it, take the item away, I have to wonder trade it away, wonder trade it straight away, or ASAP at least, so yes, indeed, there we are, and we have, yeah, another wonder trade, let's see what Pokemon we could possibly get for this trade. We're getting into the higher levels now, it's not like we're tra trading away level 3 scatterbugs or whatever, we're actually giving pretty decent trades here, so let's, hopefully, let's hope we get some pretty decent trades in return. <laughs> Mikel, was it Michiel? Okay, I don't know how to, Mike, yeah, I know it's Michael, but it doesn't really seem, because it's a girl, so, unless it's just a guy playing as a girl with a boy's name, something like that, I don't know. Mikhail, Michelle, something like that, I don't know. What is it? It's a Vulpix. Wow, I haven't seen a Vulpix in this game quite yet. Is it from Friends Safari? Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you can get the Vulpix. Probably Friends Safari. But you are awesome, Mich Mich Michelle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Michelle. I don't know. There we are. Awesome. Nice Vulpix there. Um. Yep. We shall promptly get off the path. I guess. I hope at least. <laughs> Damn, I think there, I think that's, is there anything else we can do in Pokemon Village? Obviously, yeah, there's freaking uh, Mewtwo to catch at one point, but we can't do that now. Otherwise, that would be very easy to, uh, you know, then get through the whole of the Pokemon League with a level 70 Mewtwo. Then again, it's really very easy to get a level in this game anyway, so as long as you're using the experience share, which we are not, so obviously that's a sort of point to make. Woo! See the guy's there. The guy is there! Eh. Eh. Stupid Snorlax, why are you there? It sucks you can't, like, catch this Snorlax or something like that. Or, what's the, what's the Snorlax's point there? Is there no point at all? Maybe one of the events is he's gonna move and there's gonna be a trap door underneath. That's an idea. Don't know if it's a, a very plausible idea, but it's certainly an idea. Leafeon seems to be pretty speedy, so we managed to get away from that battle easily. Or with ease. Damn it. Do we even have a surfer on our team? I'm not quite sure. Ditto! Ditto! We have Ditto. Ditto is really no point to catch Ditto here, because obviously the friend safari, where you can get you know free IV Dittos, etc. Yes, of course we have a surf. We have Greninja. Typical. It's just we haven't really had to surf in ages, and we've had a lot of team losses recently, to be honest. There's a Pokeball coming up here, so we shall catch the... Ca yeah, we're going to catch the Pokeball. Good on, good one, me. Oh my god, I'm terrible these days. I am terribly. Oh, we couldn't get up. We couldn't get away, sorry. I am awake. Run away now. Still couldn't get away. Hydro Pump avoided it. Run away again. Yeah, we got this, Leafeon. We got this. Awesome. Let's see what's here. A pixie plate. Awesome. Which is obviously for fairy type moves to boost. Or to boost fairy type moves. And we can't go up the waterfall because we do not have TM or HM weight waterfall. Is it weight in this game? I'm pretty sure it might be. I'm pretty sure it might be. <laughs> I'm terrible. I am absolutely terrible. Go this way. Over to here. Okay. There's an item. I want to get the item. You know, guys, you know how it is, guys. Hello, Gofferita. And we shall run away again, hopefully. Yes, we did. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, I think we need to teach Fly to someone, to be honest. Because uh, no one knows Fly on my team quite yet. Which is kind of sucky. But we can teach it to Crobat, I guess. So That one 
by number. Fly. Yes, just Crobat can learn it. Go on in, Crobat. We guess. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll guess. We guess. Or I guess I can teach it to you. Air cutter. Physical. <sighs> acrobatics or air cutter. I'm going to get rid of air cutter because acrobatics is a really powerful move, especially if you don't have an item. Or only if you don't have an item, to be honest. So. Even fly is better than it without an item, so. Okay, I guess we can then fly away. So, Crobat, fly. Fly, Crobat, fly. To that town there, whose name is Snowbell. Ha! Ah, I got it! So, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end it off for this episode of my Pokemon X Wonderlock. Between the next two episodes, I shall be hopefully training up the two members of my team that are not fully trained, although there won't be much help in the next gym, anywho. But yes, apart from that, I shall be uh, f greeting you farewell now, bidding you farewell until the next episode of my Pokemon X Wonderlock. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.